In this example, I will show you how to use electrostatic simulation with parameterization. Let us take a look at the example that we have. We have two metal plates, conductors, and then there is a dielectric region between the two plates. And this particular model is completely surrounded by air on all sides, as you see here. And the objective of this particular simulation is to vary the distance between the two metal plates and then see how the electric stress varies along this line. And also we will be studying how the potential varies along this line as the distance between the two metal plates changes. To do such a study, we first go to the EMS manager and the first thing we need to do is create parameters. Now to create parameters, we have what is called as a distance mate. Now this mate determines the distance between the two plates. As you can see here, its initial value is 30 millimeters. Now we will create this distance mate as a parameter in EMS. To do so, I'm going to right click here and select parameters. The EMS parameter dialog box opens. So I'm going to just put it below and I go back and I double click on the distance mate and I select from the screen the value of 30. Notice that that particular distance D1 has been chosen as a parameter. I'm going to say OK and hence I've created a geometry parameter in EMS. Now we should go about creating the electrostatic study. To do that, I right click again, create study. I select electrostatic and I also select parameterization. Say OK to create the study tree. The next step would be to define materials. I right click on air and select apply materials. From the EMS materials, I choose air and then say apply material. For the dielectric, I open the ceramic and then I'm going to choose boron nitride as my dielectric. Say apply materials. For the two metal plates, it will be a conductor material like copper. And then I select apply and close. Thus, I've applied materials to all the components. The next thing that we need to do is to apply the voltages. In this particular example, I'm going to select the top metal plate and then apply 10 volts to it. And then next, I select the bottom metal plate and then I make it grounded. Thus, I've applied the boundary conditions, which is voltages on each of the metal plates. Because we are going to drive the distance between the metal plates using the distance parameter, we have to create the various scenarios that we would like to simulate. So to do that, I double click on the design scenarios. The distance that I selected as a parameter is automatically available in the geometric variables. We're going to use that and we're going to start with a value of 30 millimeters. And then we go all the way to say 50 millimeters 
in the step of 5 millimeters. And then when we hit generate scenarios, it automatically creates 6 scenarios starting from 30 all the way to 50 millimeters. So I think scenario 6 is not needed so uh, because the 50 millimeter is duplicated. So let's go ahead and delete scenario 6 and scenario 7. So we have exactly 5 scenarios starting from 30 all the way to 50 millimeters with increments of 5 millimeters. We say OK and now we are all ready to go ahead and run the simulation. To run the simulation I right click on study 1 and select run. EMS will automatically mesh the model and it will solve each of these scenarios. Notice how the model changes because now the distance between the two plates changes from 30 to 35 and so on. So with each solving the model changes and you will be able to finally study the results once all the simulations are completed. EMS makes use of multiprocessors in your machine thereby ensuring that each of these simulations are solved very quickly. And the minimum machine requirement for EMS solvers is about Intel i7 with 12 GB of RAM. Now that the simulation has been completed, we can go ahead and take a look at the result. Now, the first thing that we would like to see is a plot of the electric field. So I'm going to go ahead and create a section plot. So I right click from the clipping, I select section clipping. And I also use the option plot on section only. Now I can actually get the electric field distribution for scenario 1 which is 35 millimeter 30 millimeters excuse me if i would like to change the scenario so i go ahead and edit my electric field plot and from here i can pick any of the scenarios for example if i want to see the electric field for scenario 5 the plot automatically updates Similarly, I will be able to plot the potential. So I'm going to go ahead, right click from clipping. I do section clipping and I say plot on section only and then I can choose say scenario 5 for example and here I get a distribution of the electric potential between the two plates and in the insulator region between the two plates and also in the air around it. Now let us see how we can get the value of both the electric field as well as the potential along this line that I have indicated here. To do that I'm going to right click on the electric field and select 2D plot and say linear. Now I can import the points because in geometry creation using SOLIDWORKS I've actually created two points to denote the end points of the line segment. So I'm importing the two points and then I go to compare results because I would like to understand how the electric field varies between these two points for all possible design scenarios ranging from 30 millimeter separation all the way to 50 millimeters I would like to use this compare results function in EMS when I say OK EMS automatically computes the variation of electric field versus scenario plot for me notice how the various scenarios starting from a gap of 30 millimeters is now plotted for the electric field.
Now to get these individual values, I can go ahead and choose the scenarios that I want and I'm, I, I actually get the values here. And I can save these values either as a text file or an Excel file to do further data processing. Similarly, I can do the same for potential. I can right click, 2D plot, linear, and then I import the two points that I created in SOLIDWORKS to denote the endpoints of the line segment. I go to compare results and then I say OK. Now I can get how the potential varies as a function of the distance between these two points. Okay. Thus, this example, we showed you how you can use electrostatic simulation in EMS along with parameterization functionality so that you can do a model change and study how your electric parameters and results vary with the changes in the model. Thank you for watching this video.